Hello and welcome. If this is your first time watching a video of mine, hello, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. If you have come back, thank you. Again, really lovely to see you again. So, as you all know, I'm a big lover of fashion. I love alternative fashion. Um, and I love kind of being a bit playful um, with fashion. And I don't believe that fashion should have gender norms. So I quite like to have a little bit of fun with that, particularly with the accessories that I choose, shoes, bags, those types of things. Um, so today I'm gonna come at you with a, um, a bit of a collection video. And I'm gonna be talking to you about Longchamp um, and my Longchamp collection. So I have exclusively a nylon collection. They do beautiful leather pieces, but I have a nylon collection. I first bought my first bag back in 2018. So I've been buying from them for probably about two and a half, three years. And I've built up a collection of around 10 bags from this particular brand. The core USP for me is the nylon. I love how durable it is. I love the colors it comes in and it's just so easy. Also from a price point perspective, I think you can be a little bit more creative with the Longchamp nylon. I would be a bit more nervous maybe buying a bold colour in a leather, um, whether that be from Longchamp or another brand, because you're probably spending nearer the four to five hundred pound mark, if not more, whereas for some of these bags, you're looking at probably around 80 to 100 pounds. Um, so I would far prefer to spend that money on uh, multiple nylon bags than possibly one leather. But of course, that is completely, completely everybody's individual choice. So I will talk you through the various bags that I have. I have quite a few duplicates. When a style works for me, I like to buy it in multiple colors, particularly just because why fix something that's not broken? Um, and I think a color can make quite a big difference to a bag and its functionality. So I'll talk you through the various styles that I have, no particular order, um, and let's see what you think. Um, let me know, let me know. Um, perfect, so let's kick things off with this. This is my Le Pliage Club Nylon Backpack. I have it in the um, beige and it has blue, like a cobalt blue. Um, I used to use this a significant amount, big fan of it. Um, mine actually has an organizer in it, but it just opens over the top there and then it has a flap in there. And as you can see, mine's got the organizer in it, um, but it's just a big space. Really, really practical for a small bag. Big fan of the fact that it's a backpack. I tend to uh, carry it just by the handle like that, but it is really nice. And the great thing with these and all Longchamp bags actually, is because you have the zip plus you have the flap, they are incredibly secure. So I don't tend to worry um, if this is on my back um, because you have to go through a fair amount of jiggery pokery to be able to kind of get something out of it if you were trying to <laughs> steal. It can make them a bit of a pain to get in and out of yourself as a consumer and a user. However, I would take that over feeling uh, with feeling secure. So it's worth it to me. Big fan of this one. I bought it from Selfridges and I think I paid about 80 pounds for it. So um, I think not a, not a bad price. Now the second backpack I have, I'm not going to talk about this one very much. So I have this pink one. Um, I've used it once. So in terms of functionality, it's identical, I'm sure, to the beige one. I've just not used the pink one. And the reason being, I'll gravitate to a different bag if I want something like that. Um, the reason that I bought it is I kind of ruined the beige one a bit. A beer was spilt on it at a rugby event. Um, so I thought, oh, it's ruined. And then I realized that you can buy a nylon cleaner from Longchamp. So I bought that, gave it a once over. It's still a bit stained but that's all just part of the wear and tear. So I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay, let's go with this one. So this is actually the first long shot bag that I ever bought. Um, I bought this in Stuttgart um, whilst I was living overseas. And I really, really loved um, the color um, initially. So it's this yellow, it's the travel, kind of smaller travel bag. I think it's the large. Um, it's in the more classic um, style. Um, it's again a big open space. It has a pocket here, which I really like because they continue the nylon color um, through. So it's really, really practical. It's top handle only. That's something to note with their travel bags. Um, if you buy these type, they do have ones with handles um, or straps, sorry. These don't. So these are top handle only. 
and they can get really heavy. So great bag, great for cabin baggage. I use it as a gym bag, um, but I didn't buy it for that purpose. I used it quite a lot as a travel bag, then I used started using it as a gym bag. Um, but I'm a big fan of this one, um, and I'm looking forward to being able to use it again at the gym. That's a lie. I don't like going to the gym. I'm not looking. I'm looking forward to using the bag. I'm not looking forward to going to the gym. Let's be clear. Okay, in a similar vein, I have the same bag, same features, but I have in this beautiful baby pink colour. This would be my favourite of the two. I use this for cabin baggage. I use this when I go away on trips, when we were able to go away on trips. I just think the colour is absolutely beautiful. It has the pink inside. Mine has been battered. Um, you can probably see it's dirty. I've tried to wipe it. Um, it's just the nature of the bag, but it's done really, really well. I would absolutely buy another one of these if something were to happen to this one. Um, as you can see, pink is kind of my favourite colour. Um, so I'm a huge, huge fan of this. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the way that these fold is so practical. So you can take them away with you. They can go, um, you know, anywhere, basically. Um, if you just wanted one as a beach bag, you could very easily take one as a beach bag. Okay, similar vein, but the bigger size. This is the XL travel bag. Probably veering on the side of too large considering the fact that it doesn't come with a strap. Um, this can get incredibly, incredibly heavy. Um, same features again, just big open space. One pocket here, which is great for a phone or something like that, but it gets incredibly heavy. If I have this full, I don't like to carry it by hand. It has to go probably in the crook of your arm, um, just, but I haven't babied this in the slightest. It's been on the tube. It's been everywhere with me. Um, I bought this one at Bista um, and it was on sale. So I got an outlet price and then a sale price. So this is great. Probably due to it being a bit more of a niche color. It's this very vibrant line, but I really, really like this. It's not the one that I use more out of the two um, XL ones that I have, but I do happen to really like it. We have, finally, this is the one that I use the most out of those two. And this is my grey. It is identical. <laughs> you know, the features are the same, so I'm not going to open it up. Um, but it's in this grey colour. I not believe that travel bags have to match with what you wear. But I think if you can get your bags to match, it's always a bit of a win. For example, this works quite well with what I'm wearing today. Um, really, really great, but same problem. Very heavy. Um, if you have it full, um, or if you don't have it full of just clothes. So for example, if you're going somewhere, you have a laptop in it, it gets incredibly heavy and they don't offer any protection um, from what's inside. So you have to be a little bit careful as to how you pack things. But I really, really love these and I would thoroughly recommend. And for the price point, I think these will go somewhere around a hundred pounds. I think they're well worth it. Um, if you just fancy something to, for travel, um, that's very easy to maintain. So I'm a big, big fan of this. Okay, let's go for the work, work bags, um, I guess you could call them. So I have two of these. So I have this purple document holder and I have this blue one. Now I'll be honest, I don't really use either. If I'm going to use one, I probably use the blue. I don't have many blue bags. I think I have one other blue bag, which I've only acquired recently. So this would be the one that I would probably use more readily, but it's a... They're, they're very functional. Um, I'm trying to think which one would be best to show you. So again, they're, they're quite secure because you've got the flap, you've got the zip. This is a little bit annoying because you have to kind of pull it under. This has a pillow in it, so I hope I can show you what I need to show you. It doesn't have any pockets in it. It's just a, a space um, inside. Um, it's not got the white lining though. It's got this black um, lining or this one does in particular. I can't remember what the purple one's got um, on. But yeah, this is, it's a great bag. It fits a big, it fits a big laptop in it. Um, not much else. You have to be quite careful with how you pack it. Um, the one thing I would say with this is maybe only use it for iPads and documents. The reason being, if you were to drop it, it offers no protection to whatever is inside. So you just have to be a little bit careful when it comes to that. But it is a really beautiful bag. I like the colour particularly um, and the fact that I think these are like rain resistant or something. They're not waterproof, but they're like splash resistant or whatever that may be. So I think that's quite a big plus. 
Then, yeah, we have the purple, which has the same features. Um, it actually, this one has a, it's stuffed. This one actually has a white lining in it, so that obviously varies depending on the color. Um, but again, same features, but I have a lot of, I have a lot of pink bags, so this probably wouldn't be my first choice. Um, but again, it could work with what I was wearing today, but if I was wearing what I'm wearing right now, I would probably still use the blue one. But it's a nice one to have. Okay, my most used Longchamp bag. My Neo, my large Longchamp Neo in this limited edition print. I bought this from the outlet. Um, I absolutely love this. I love the black leather on the handles and the flap. It says, I think they all say this, but it says Longchamp on the back there. The great thing with the Neo that makes it very versatile for most people would be the fact that it also comes with a shoulder strap. Um, which I have here. I don't tend to use shoulder straps. It just says long chomp on there. There you go. Um, it, I don't tend to use a shoulder strap ever. Um, I carry this top handle solely. Um, again, it's a big bag, so it can get heavy. Mine has an organizer in it, um, but I do. I really, really love it. I love the kind of hardware on it with them. Um, then it's got a similar color. Um, on the button as well. I just think it's beautiful. And I got this for a really good price because I got it at the outlet and it was old season. Um, so this is possibly one of my most complimented bags. And I think this is possibly the bag that would work best um, for everybody. So I have had um, compliments from men on this, women on this. Yeah, absolutely, I think this could work for everyone um regardless so very very good bag can absolutely fill it um it has um a pocket like the others and then it's just a big open space and i have an organizer like i said very very fond of that now in terms of my favorite and this is my last one but this would be my favorite and the reason this is my favorite is because of the color and you'll probably start thinking but you said you don't use this one that is basically the same color. The reason that I use this one a lot more is the style works a lot better for me, the top handle um, style works a lot better. Um, I wouldn't use this as a work bag, um, but I, I love the club style as well with the leather and the nylon are a similar color. I, I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I wish it was a tiny bit bigger, um, but I think this is the biggest size that they do the club top handle in. I could be wrong, but I think it is the biggest. I think if you go one more size, it's then into travel bags. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think it is beautiful. Um, I bought this for kind of a bit of a life achievement. Um, I love the silver hardware on it. It's got the pocket like all of the others. Mine's got an organizer in it um, as well. And then it's just an, it's just an open space. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this style to anyone looking for um, a top handle bag. It doesn't come with a strap, so it's top handle only. But you can get these in so many colours. Um, I, as I mentioned, have mine in a popper colour, but you could get this in navy blue if you wanted, or forest green, or black, or whatever, yellow. The world is your oyster um, as to the colours that they offer. So, big, big fan of this, and very much suits my personal style. So I hope that in some way has been informative. Um, Longchamp is the brand that I own the most bags collectively from, um, but if you would like to see bags a little bit more generally as kind of a collection, please do let me know. Um, if you have any thoughts on my collection and the bags that I've shown you today, are there any that you liked? Particularly, are there any that you disliked? If any thoughts. I'm always, always open to it. Um, but I hope this has been enjoyable and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, um, wherever you may be, and I will hopefully see you very soon. Take care.